military occupational specialty, avionic mechanic. In a mission, few things are more vital to a pilot than to be able to communicate and to navigate, for they can mean life or death. To make sure that the communications, navigation, and flight control systems are working properly, soldiers in this MOS repair and maintain them in all types of Army aircraft. Because Army avionic work is sensitive, you must qualify for a secret clearance in this MOS. The Army will train you in radio theory and the basic concepts of radio operation, then train you on simulators using manuals to help you identify radio malfunctions and recommend repairs. You'll also train in the theory and operations of sophisticated navigation systems and automatic flight control systems. Other training will include basic electrical safety procedures, testing and maintaining equipment, stocking avionic supplies and equipment, updating of repair manuals, and the recording of maintenance and repairs in the aircraft's logbooks. You'll train as well to solve complex electronic problems, to communicate well, and to work quickly and efficiently under pressure. After your initial entry training and advanced individual training, you'll work long hours in the field, day or night, where you'll maintain and repair communications, navigation, and flight control systems on Army aircraft. Your duties may also be to install, maintain, and repair new equipment as the technology advances. On any given day, you may be replacing wire bundles on damaged aircraft, replacing computer components in an automated flight control system, adjusting Doppler navigation equipment, or checking an aircraft survivability equipment. Serving as a soldier in this MOS can help you transition from the military to the civilian employment sector. In this MOS, there are daily challenges for your problem-solving abilities, so help keep our high-tech aircraft in touch and ready for their missions as a military occupational specialty avionic mechanic.